All right, continuing on the setup, the general setup for PSP 19, Corel's program. Let's see, file preferences and file format preferences. I don't believe I've touched these, but uh, here they are okay, in case you want to see them. PCD ping postscript raw graphics never concerned myself with those hmm. all right file preferences file format associations this tells me to go to uh, I got Windows 10 so it's just for me to go to the defaults there. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial, but you can do that if you want. <laughs> see uh, preferences, file locations. Okay. And now I keep a uh, a lot of my files for PSP like these things here a lot of those I have in my documents I've made a special place that I call my PSP and I've got sub subtitle folders in there similar to a lot of these things and uh, I direct my PSP to them like uh, like this one, users, hootie, documents, my PSP files, plugins. And when by doing that, I can direct all my different versions of PSP to the same place instead of having this repetitive things over and over and over again. So that's how I do it. But the main thing on this is to look at what I have checked here. I have Everything checked except allow file format plugins to request pre-filtering of support file types. I find that makes uh, our plugins flake out. A lot of times the 8BF things that we use, the 8BF files. So that's that's an important thing to have settings on. All right, brushes. Uh, well. Enable use subfolders. Bump maps. Looks like I have them both checked. Cache. Cache. Nothing. That's just. Let's see. Users. That's just doing things automatically there. Oh. We don't even have a folder for deformation maps or displacement maps <laughs> okay I guess I don't need them with 19 huh oh I know what it is this thing after it sees that you've gone through a few settings you have to go back into it again why does it do that I don't know let's see preferences I'll format it so let's see file locations And now it'll work right for several of them. Uh, let's see, deformation maps, both checked. Displacement, check, check. Environmental maps, check, check. Gradients, check, check. Mass, check, check. Mixer pages, check, check. <laughs> Monitor profiles, what? That's an automatic thing there. Okay, Let's see, we'll have to come back and do pallets. So get out, come back in again. Maybe that's a safety feature or something. Where's pallets at? Pallets, check, check. Patterns, check, check. Picture frames, check, check. Picture tubes, check, check. 
plugins. Okay. Like I said, <laughs> we have to have that one thing un unchecked. Allow file format plugins. Pre-filtering. We going in a circle? Sorry if I am. Preset shapes. Um, check, check. Well, let's just look and see if there's anything that's unchecked while we're doing this. Python editor. I'll tell you if there's something unchecked. Styled lines. I like styled lines. Well, let's let me go pretty far this time. Swatches. Textures. And All right. Continuing on the setup. The general setup for PSP 19. Corel's program. Let's see file preferences and file format preferences. I don't believe I've touched these, but uh, here they are. Okay, in case you want to see them. PCD. Ping. Postscript. Raw graphics. Never concerned myself with those. Hmm. All right, file preferences, file format associations. This tells me to go to. Uh, I got Windows 10, so it's just for me to go to the defaults there. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial, but you can do that if you want. <laughs> see uh, preferences file locations okay and now I, I keep uh, a lot of my files for PSP like these things here a lot of those I have in my documents I've made a special place that I call my PSP and I've got sub subtitle folders in there similar to a lot of these things and uh, I direct my PSP to them like uh, like this one users hootie documents my PSP files plugins and when by doing that I can direct all my different versions of PSP to the same place instead of having this repetitive things over and over and over again so that's how I do it but the main thing on this is to look at what I have checked here I have everything checked except allow file format plugins to request pre-filtering of support file types I find that makes uh, our plugins flake out a lot of times the 8BF things that we use, the 8BF files. So that's that's an important thing to have settings on. Alright, brushes. Uh, well, enable use subfolders. Bump maps. Looks like I have them both checked. Cache. Cache. Nothing. Uh, that's just. Let's see. Users. That's just doing things automatically there. Oh, we don't even have a folder for deformation maps or displacement maps. <laughs> okay, I guess I don't need them with 19, huh? Oh, I know what it is. This thing after it sees that you've gone through a few settings, you have to go back into it again. Why does it do that? I don't know. Let's see. Preferences. File format. Let's see. File locations. And now it'll work right for several of them. Uh, let's see. Deformation maps. Both checked. Displacement. Check, check. Environmental maps. Check, check. Gradients, check, check. Mass, check, check. 
Mixer pages. Check, check. <laughs> Monitor profiles, what? That's an automatic thing there. Okay, Let's see, we'll have to come back and do pallets. So get out, come back in again. Maybe that's a safety feature or something. Where's pallets at? Pallets, check, check. Patterns, check, check. Picture frames, check, check. Picture tubes, check, check. Plugins, okay. Like I said, <laughs> we have to have that one thing un unchecked. Allow file format plugins, pre filtering. Are we going in a circle? Sorry if I am. Preset shapes, um, check, check. Well, let's just look and see if there's anything that's unchecked while we're doing this. Python editor. I'll tell you if there's something unchecked. Styled lines. I like styled lines. Well, it's let me go pretty far this time. Swatches. Textures. Undo. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It stopped. What the heck? <laughs> I worked it too hard. 